All right, so you've learned enough about continuous integration. You've also learned the difference between the continuous integration, continuous deployment, and continuous delivery. Now, even though you are aiming for, let's say, continuous delivery or continuous deployment, it is also important to know about the deployment as well as release strategy. So when you actually, even if you're automatically deploying your products to the customers, it doesn't mean that your clients and all the clients see it immediately. There are many ways to safely deploy and release your applications to the client in a very safe way. And that is where these release strategies would help you. Now, we're talking about uh, a few things here. One is a deployment strategy and a release strategy. Talking about a deployment strategy, a typical deployment, and that is something I had done earlier in my, uh, you know, earlier operations life as well, uh, working as operations engineer and uh, release manager and release engineer as well. And that was mostly we go and stop the services. And then you have a downtime and then you release with your updated versions of your application and you bring it up and make it live, right? So there's always a downtime here involved. And you can also create a rolling update or a zero downtime update strategy where instead of bringing down everything, let's say this is my version one, instead of bringing down everything from version one, I can do that in a safer way and say that I would go and deploy this in batches. My batch size is two and I want to wait, let's say 20 second for uh, before I deploy it for the next batch. Just want to make sure that, you know, this is up and running. When I replace this, my batch one replaces these two. And then waits for 20 second, goes to the batch two, and then batch three, and I can do it step by step. And good thing about this is, at any given point of time, you're guaranteed to have the minimum capacity, and you are updating in smaller batches. This is also called as a zero downtime deployment or a rolling update. The limitation of this though is while the deployment is happening, you would see two different, or there are chances that the customers will see different versions of the application. In certain cases, those two versions may not be compatible from the database schema point of view and so on. So it may not be the safest way or the best way to deploy your application as well. So you can actually come up with another deployment strategy called as blue-green releases. This is also a release strategy now. And uh, when we talk about blue-green releases, what that, what that means is, let's say you have the existing version of your application running in production. Let's say you have a load balancer, which is map to these servers. So what you do instead of going in batches is you set up a parallel infrastructure. This is your green version. This is V1, this is V2. So you bring up V2, ensure everything is running, and then just switch the link. So the load balancer then you know cuts down this link and then you move the load balancer here and start serving the load from there. Right? So this is one way of releasing it. Here you don't have, you will have a slight downtime, but it will be very little because you'll migrate, cut down from here and switch to that. And when you switch, you already have the infrastructure running with a new version, serving all the requests out of that. Right? This is one way of releasing your applications there. Uh, another release strategy can be a canary release. Now this is a very interesting one because let's say you have a version of your application running and you have X number of instances. So what you do is for certain, you know, you update only the part of your infrastructure. Let's say just, you know, 30% or 25% of your infrastructure is what is up updated to V2. Now what you do here is you can select certain customers, so let's say some beta customers, and only those customers are redirected here. Everybody else goes to the previous version. So what you're essentially doing is you're testing in production here with a subset of customers. And then these are some beta customers that you select and send them to here. You can also select a randomized strategy, a slightly varied version of this is a random, uh, let's say 20% or 25% of a request go to the new version, in which case, instead of canary, 
this is a canary version that I just mentioned about. Um, slightly varied version where randomly you select, let's say 20%, 30%, whatever, you can call this as A-B testing. Another release strategy you could use is called as feature flags. So what you essentially do with feature flags is you already have the updated version deployed uh, to your servers, but you enable that release on the release date by just switching a feature, maybe a configuration update somewhere. And once you've seen that, it goes to the version two immediately. Good thing about this is rollback is you know, quick and immediate because you can just turn that off. It's a binary, you know, sort of a configuration and you can turn it off and you switch back to the previous version. So you can build those feature flags as a safety, you know, feature. And the key point about creating your releases, release strategies and talking about it is to reduce the drama around the releases, reduce the tension amount around the releases and make it more predictable, more, you know, easier, uh, seamless and rolling back also easier to do. So we just spoke about some of the deployment and release strategies in this lesson and I hope it was useful for you to understand these concepts.